What is going on, Sheep Army? This is your boy Random Arts coming with a quick video. And on this video, guys, we're going to be addressing the elephant in the room in regards to the Sheep Army. So before I get into it, guys, like always, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinion about the Sheep Army. So you might be wondering, guys, what is this elephant in the room that you're talking about, Random Arts? So that elephant in the room is the fork that we're currently seeing right now within the Sheep Army. And this is, to me, in my opinion, it is actually a good thing. So this is long run, you know, big picture thinking is going to benefit us in the long run. So what is this fork? So before we even get to like the fork about the Sheep Army, First, understand what an actual fork is. So Bitcoin, for example, uh, had, you know, many forks over the years. The most successful uh, fork that it had is Bitcoin Cash. So a fork typically happens within um, Bitcoin whenever a, uh, a miner decide that they want to take Bitcoin a different direction than the direction that it's currently going. So this is my little ugly diagram of Bitcoin. So let's say Bitcoin was heading down, down this direction. But the miners wanted, you know, Bitcoin to go down this other direction. So typically what they'll do is copy the code, do whatever modification that they want to, to be done on it and take it into that direction. So for us, we're seeing a different type of fork. We're seeing a fork as far as teams. But the great thing about it is that there's not going to be a new token um, per se that is created um, for the fork. The stuff that's happening is pretty much more utility to be able to support the Sheep Army, such as Bone, uh, Shiba Inu, um, Shiboshis, whatever aspect that we have within the ecosystem. So first one is Paw Swap. So Paw Swap is uh helping to be able to burn shiba inu now paw swap as some people um you know and this may or may not be true so um paw swap is a part of the trophius faction now trophius may or may not be invested into it but this is how most people perceive it as so perception is reality unfortunately so people are perceiving paw swap as a trophius uh fork or not even trophius fork but a uh a trophius um a token that trophius support uh paw swap and you have paw zone which is a satoshi token that he support you know you could actually see the similarity in the name paw zone paw swap and the crazy thing that i suspect may have happened just within the last few days is during this run up right here um, some of the sheep army, you know, probably profited from here and some probably took profits and started putting it into pause on it. If you guys were able to do that, then big shout out to you guys. Cause that was actually a good trade. And this is what I mean by it too, guys, like within having a fork within the ecosystem, don't get caught up into, you know, trying to pick one side or if you pick one side, like, no, look at it objectively. What's going to benefit your bottom line? What's going to benefit your investment in the sheep ecosystem? Like for me, you know, and this is not a secret, like I am very intrigued with Bonarium. Why am I intrigued with Bonarium? Is due to the fact that it uses bone as its gas token. So this is an active live layer two right now um, that is currently using bone as its transaction token as this gas token so for me holding bone why do i have to hate or even don't like bonarium you know and people are looking at like oh shaitoshi didn't build it so what you know like for me it's like so what like i don't get caught up into emotional ties within crypto and all this and that i'm looking i'm looking at it from objective standpoint and how is it going to affect my bottom line now, as long as their code is good, um, and again, I'm not endorsing them because, again, once this Certic audit come out, um, then I would know whether or not, like, hey, is this something that I could actually rally behind? 
Um, I'm rooting for them, most definitely rooting for them to be a success. But at the same time, I want everything to be legit, everything to be on the up and up. And hopefully they got Skynet um, activated within uh, the code, uh, within their audit as well, too, which would monitor the code and stuff like that. So, so yeah, so Bonarium is a competing layer two with Shibarium. They have their docs out. This is a Shibarium um, beta. Now, as you can see, we have 5,000 wallets that's interacted with the beta. 5,000 transaction block uh, time is five seconds. So if we look at Bonarium, their average block time is two seconds. Current wallet right now is 2,625. Uh, transaction already at 18,000. Um, and they currently right now, they have about 135, last time I checked, let me see, 135 uh, projects. Uh, Shibarium currently have about 5,000 people ready to get into it. So at the end of the day, and this is the main point that I'm making, guys, this fork of different projects going about, it's not only meeting the needs of some of the people, because if we even take a look at just within Discord as well, too, you have, again, this is the trophyist faction within, you know, the, I guess, quote unquote, official uh, Shiba token community. Then you have this new one with Shibarium technology that was created by Satoshi and his team. So you have two different Discord, two different layer twos, two different swaps. So you're seeing that fork, but each one of them, they're here to be able to benefit Shiba Inu. So Pause Swap, I believe they also do uh, buyback and burns for Shib. Um, I think Pause Zone doing the same thing as well too. Uh, Bonarium, it's also doing buyback and burns on Shib. Like this is helping us. And not only that, Bonarium is um, the gas. You know, the gas on Bonarium is bone. So more bone is going to be needed. And currently right now, they uh, last time I made a video, there was actually wallet number 64. Now they moved up in the ranks. They're actually wallet 51 now, having 357,000 uh, bone within it. So this is causing the scarcity of bone to start, you know, it's starting. So bone is going to get more scarce. So once volume start to pick up on bone, we're going to see bigger pops. We're going to see bigger run-ups on Bone at a faster pace, guys. So, again, super, super excited about the direction that each one of these projects decide that they want to take. I'm not for Shitoshi. I'm not for Trophies. I am for Sheeb Army. I am for my bag. Um, and that's how you got you guys really have to look at this. Like, look at it from an objective standpoint, as long as there's no malicious thing happening you know and i can't stress this enough bonarium you know they only get one shot unfortunately this is how crypto work especially if you're introducing a competing product to the marketplace so everything has to be on the up and up or else you could lose your credibility that quick um now the last thing two guys just wanted to point out now this is the bonarium uh discord and and these are valid concerns, guys, you know, that some people are arising. Uh, this person and big shout out to I, I don't know his name, but I think he's the one of the lead developers of uh, Bonarium. But someone asked this. They said, I wonder if you had developed uh, developing all this for months or years because unification has taken years. Now, that is valid because I've talked to I'm not a developer myself. I'm not a developer, but um, I've talked to different developers and I asked them like, hey, um, in your opinion, and this is their opinion, um, should a layer two take, you know, two years? And the answer, the common answer that I get is no. And this is further proved by them, which were able to build their layer two in a week. Now, of course, I love to see fast development, but more importantly, I love to see 
security. I love to see safety. So if they're able to do the feat, you know, within a week and it's not safe, then what's the point? But if they're able to do the, you know, the layer two and include safety with it and hence why they're getting the uh, audits done, then that is incredible because you have a whole bunch of angry people within uh, the Trophius faction, which in that this discord that are angry because of how long that Shabarium have taken again, which is valid concerns. You know, you can't discredit them like, oh, you just got to be patient because some of them didn't get into uh, Sheeb like early parts of 2021. So it's I, and now I'm starting to realize like it's I, it's easier for me to be patient because look I made over six hundred, um, uh, I, I made over six figures. I made over six figures with Sheeb, so I can be like, hey, patient, patient, patient. But some people haven't experienced that, so it's like, dang. I hear other people say that they made all this and this, you know, money with Sheeb, but I haven't experienced this. Um, since I haven't experienced it, like what the heck is happening? So I can understand now from that point of view, you know, because someone else brought that up to me, like, Hey, you made money in this. Like, it's easier for you to say, be patient. So hence why, like for me, Shabarium, as long as it come out this year for me, I'm cool with it, but other people, they don't see, they don't view it like that. So yeah, guys, didn't want to make this video as long as this, but just know that there is a fork that's currently happening right now and uh, don't get caught up into, you know, trying to pick a side or going back and forth with other people. I know people are still going to do that, but leave it be because at the end of the day, if you're invested into bone like I am, this is going to help us. You invested into Sheeb. This is going to help us. Um, so, yeah. So let me know your thoughts and opinion about this fork for the Sheep Army. Love to hear you guys in the comment section. Again, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Random Mars Guy signing off. Peace.